Ladies and gentlemen, I am Thor of Thor News, your planetary defense commander in Star-Lord New Thor 7. And for 2017's hurricane season, I was like, yo, we're going to get hit by two or more hurricanes. And then we did. And then before the 2018 hurricane season, I was like, hey, y'all, we are going to get hit by two or more hurricanes. And then we did. And then for this season, I was like, hey, y'all, the 18th to the 23rd, I'm real worried about the upper northeast, New Jersey, New York, New England. But everybody should be stay prepared and stay prepared like for six straight weeks. And we're on the lookout for two category fives in that time. And so that went on the warning is, goes from the 18th to 23rd. And here we are on the 22nd together, you and I. And things are weird all over. And there's like a war for information. And we are supposed to be on the lookout for a big, major monster storm. And so we have Karen, Jerry, and the Red X to choose from. Plus, this bad boy rolling through Upper Town. And this is a multi-continental storm stretching from almost at Europe to the Americas. Now, Jerry is supposed to be going out to sea. That's what they say. But Karen is almost anyone's guess at this point. And the models have been doing some majorly wacky things. Now we're looking at precipitable water that has happened in the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Pacific. Eh, I'm not going to name all that shit. You get the idea, right? And so, let's name this giant area of moisture Area 1, which is going to split into two parts. I believe this is Jerry, and then this is the wave, which has no official designation or no fancy graphic. But this is what I'm worried about and warning. Texas, Louisiana, Mexico. We need to be ready for this thing to be like, hey, guess what? I'm like a zombie non-storm that could be God only knows. Because not only did I put out a warning for the specific date period, it's, it was literally to get everyone aware of what would probably be a really nasty hurricane season. And so here is what used to be Invest 99, which is now Karen and then Jerry. And this is a whole, like, expansive, stretching precipital water field. And then another monster rolling off Africa. And just sidebar, I would guess we could possibly see volcanic activity somewhere in the islands, either this season or over the next two to three years. So, Jerry is now almost a the 69 degree, which he's not supposed to go to. Karen is going to be heading up, and it really depends on what yours doing. But it's like one giant monster storm across the globe, man, because the globe is a big body. But I definitely don't feel I oversold this unique period of time, the 18th to the 23rd, in any form or, for, form or fashion. So here we are, 23rd. Right? We got a giant area of precipitable water heading straight northwest. Plus, we got another giant body of water behind me. Don't believe me? Let me show you in another frame. Yeah, how'd I do? I did great. I have not solved the Brexit deal issue problem yet. And I have not mediated all the relationships across the planet, and especially the United States or the Internet. But I think I did great in all other areas. Mostly. But this is not about me. This is about this period we are now in. And we get a yellow magic bar. Plus, 
aliens or geoengineering or a combination of both. CERN, dimensional warfare, harp, call it what you will, may or is probably involved here on some level capacity. And so, yeah, it's a monster. It's a very weird situation. We had Saturn go direct on the 18th, and Saturn and Jupiter will play a big role over the next six years, especially the next two. They're almost going to be kissing on Election Day, which is interesting. It's almost like it's all written in the stars or something, but there is free will. But I'm guessing there's some predestiny and destiny to there. But I'm glad you're along with me for the ride. Because a lot of y'all are really awesome. And I'm proud of you. I'm glad we made it. It's been a rough ride. But it's not over. We're in a wild hurricane season. But this is not doom the end of the world. This is another sign from all things that now is the time to start working together. This is the situation. So this is area one, area two, area three. We have three big areas and two major coasts. You can split Florida down the middle if you want. I mean, not figuratively. I mean, not literally. Okie dokie. Yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Is it bad luck or poor form for me to appeal for good luck kisses as your planetary defense commander? In this rough season, apparently so. We have a glitch. Yeah, that counts as super glitchy. And you know the drill. When it's super glitchy, take the weird weather watch up a notch. And somehow if the ninjas get me, celebrate. My life as I was awesome. Man, it's like Superman is having to catch the asteroid all by himself. It doesn't look like he's having a good time. Fight, fight, or surf, baby. 2019 is a cliffhanger. And it is wave after wave after wave of wildness. So now it's time to hit the button upon your best self. We are getting the band back together. That is good news. Yeah. So. Here we go. A massive bowling ball up or low will move into the west next weekend. This prolonged summer, like weather, in the east into October. So stay cool, man. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's how crazy things are. So yeah, Philip Quats back. Karen is the fourth storm to be named in the Atlantic since September 14th. Tying the record set in 1998 for most named storms forming in the Atlantic between September 14th and 22nd. So yeah, record amount of storms in the oceans for a Neptunish signal. How long does pressure take to get from Neptune to here, if there was such a thing? Let's say we're just like magnetic energy or some type of electromagnetic spectrum energy we, we can't see represented in any type of recordable form to our small human brains, you know, compared to the whole cosmic scheme. You see, it's, it's dangerous. It's romantic. It's weird. They're good guys and bad guys. And we all need more comedy, romance, healing, forgiveness, and teamwork. I appreciate you. I love you. I'll be talking to you soon. Probably. Very often. Unless the, like, super organic robots get me then. Celebrate me with lots of kisses, dip kisses, and dancing like you're having the most fun of your life. Ooh. There I go again. God bless everyone. Happy Sunday. But thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. And let's all work together not to sacrifice anybody else. Okay, let's learn our lessons and improve every day. Now, you may hit the button. Good luck, kiss. Please, ma'am. I got a list of like 23. Um, women I would accept kisses from. Great. If you can track that down, check it to see if your name's on it, and then come and get it.